Good morning, everybody. Day 79. And uh, we are getting a sunrise. Look. You see it popping up right there? Yeah. Super cool. And uh, last night, I don't think I've ever went down to that bear fence hut. So that's a first for me, too. Not a bad little spot. That's some good camping there, too. So worked out perfect. And today, everybody, I'm just hoping that it's a beautiful day. Because, yeah, I just want a beautiful day. Is that asking too much, really? <laughs> okay, it might be. I've had a few in a row. So we'll see what happens. And I have no idea how far I'm going today. I got kind of an idea. Like, there's this loft, loft mountain campground. And that's the spot, everybody, where you get the, the killer sunset. So, I don't know if I'll be able to get there before the sun sets. That's the problem. But, we will see what I can do. As I'm just going to mosey today. I'm in no hurry to get anywhere. So, it doesn't matter to me where I go. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll touch back. Ooh, sunset or sunrise. With the cool stuff and the views. Like I do, baby. So, you just hang tight. What's happening, everybody? Back with a little trail time. And it was chilly this morning. <laughs> yeah, pack number 10 was the worst part about it. Because I can't do nothing with gloves on, everybody. So I don't wear gloves until after my tent is packed up and ready to rock and roll. So, yeah, a little chilly on the fingers this morning, but not a big deal. This trail is pretty awesome. Look, we're walking beside all these big boulders. That's where we came from, everybody. And I've been looking for bears. I haven't seen any yet. When I see them, hopefully I can get my camera out quick enough so that you guys can see them. They're fast, everybody. When they see you, and they take off. It's hard to get my camera out quick enough. But hopefully, we can catch one of these little guys. So. It's quiet this morning, too. I haven't heard really any cars on the skyline drive or anything so pretty cool all righty guys figured i'd show you Check this out, everybody. We're gonna get a view spot right here. I'm gonna have to check my phone, see if I got service, so I can get you guys a video. Shenandoah's proven to be tricky. Oh my goodness. Look at this, everybody. Oops. How beautiful. Another beautiful day in Shenandoah's. Awesome, everybody. Yeah. 
This is so cool. It's perfect weather again. Yeah, I can't complain one bit about my time in Shenandoah, everybody. If you're wondering what hit the ground just a second ago, that clink, clink. Look. My sunglass lens, for some reason, it popped out. I don't know why. Howdy, guys. Look at these views, baby. Let's see if I got some service. Get you guys a video fix. Checks out everybody. So that's trail right there in front of us. Where we're going. Look, spring. Check this out, everybody. Oh yeah. Pipe spring, baby. Mm. Yeah, let me get some water here. What's happening, everybody? So I think I just went over high top mountain. And that's where that spring was at the top of that mountain which is pretty awesome and uh so i got water there and i was like you know what i'm kind of hungry so i had a spaghetti mountain house meal that fresh ground hooked me up with <laughs> he hooked me up with quite a few mountain house meals everybody and i was like i don't have room for all this fresh ground he's like i'm gonna make you take them all <laughs> So I ended up taking like, I don't know, four or five, five of them after I just left Front Royal with a resupply to get me to Waynesboro. Then I slammed on four more mountain houses. So I think I might have two lunches today, two mountain house meals. Because I got a, uh, a chili mac in there too that, man, those are good. So... I usually don't buy mountain house meals because they're just expensive, to be honest. And when I can get like ramen and tuna and some spices and almost make, well, it's not the same thing, but still, mountain houses are expensive to eat every day. So there's no way I would eat them every day. But when people give them to me, man, I devour them. So, all right, guys, forget to touch base. Should give you a little trail time and tell you I actually cooked a lunch. I'm thinking about actually stopping at the next water and doing another one. <laughs> we'll see. Well, it's happening, everybody. So I figured I'd let you guys know that I've been shot down twice. I'm trying to get a video out. Man, one of them is even up to like 45%. And then it's just like, boom. Service is gone. It stopped uploading. I don't know what was going on. So, I think I might be done trying today. I don't know. We'll see. If I get to another, what I think is a good spot to get a video out. I might try it one more time. But if it ain't going quick, yeah, I don't know what to do. The Shenandoahs are spotty with service. And like, I'll have it for a minute and then it'll just go away. It's super strange. <laughs> but whatever. I'm pretty much done wasting time on that today. If I can't get it, I can't get it. That's all there is to it. But it won't take me long, I guarantee you. By tomorrow, for sure, I'll have all the videos caught back up on my thinking. But today, it's just being tricky. I'm going to try to get it out, but we'll see. Like I say, it's all on the service, baby. Nothing I can do about it. What's happening, everybody? Check this out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure up here we're gonna get to a, like an overlook where the cars like stop and park. So the views there are always good. So I'll give you some of them too. One more time this way, everybody. Look at that. 
Yeah, baby. What's up, everybody? So that's where we came from. Look, pretty much every time we cross the road, we get one of these little signs. Yeah. Cars, baby. Powell Gap. Come around that corner quick. Hmm. Alrighty, guys. Figured I'd show ya. Ooh, white blaze on this log. That's cool. Check this out, everybody. A little side trail. Two of you, baby. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Look how beautiful that is. Let me zoom you in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Super duper cool. And we're just in this like shoot. I know it's a valley, but how cool everybody. Check this out everybody. Another view spot, not far from that last one we were just at. Look, it's time for a second lunch everybody. Look at that. Cooking with a view, baby. Yeah. And I'm gonna have beef stroganoff noodles. So all I'm gonna do is pour this boiling water into this bag and wait like eight minutes, everybody. That's how my cooking lunch is gonna go. And I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna wait eight minutes before I start walking. As soon as I pour this water into this pouch, I'm gonna pack all this up into there. And then soon I'm packed up, I'm gonna start walking. And I'll eat it on the move, baby. I am trying to get to that spot where I can camp for a sunset, but we'll see. I've been moseying today, so I haven't really went very far, I don't think. Yeah. Cooking, baby. Look at that view. The mountain house should like take a picture of that and put it on their packages. What you doing out here, Mr. Snakey Snake? Huh? You better get somewhere warm, buddy. It ain't that warm to be laying out in the sun today. You're just sitting bathing, huh? Hmm. Alrighty. Stay warm, buddy. Well, what's happening, everybody? So I've kind of got a little dilemma here I got going on in my brain. So I'm coming up to like a, a side trail here in like three miles or so. I think you take me down to the Lost Mountain Wayside. 
It's a half mile side trail. Then I have to do a half mile back. And then go to the Lost Mountain Campground. But if I go to the Lost Mountain Wayside, just paying attention, <laughs> a lot of Lost Mountains here. Then uh, I don't think I'll make it to the campground before the sunset. And if I skip the Lost Mountain Wayside and just go to the Lost Mountain Campground store, then I might be able to catch the sunset. But either way, it's going to be close. And I was thinking, man, the wayside sure does sound good for some, like, cooked food. Coca-Cola, maybe chocolate milk, or mocha. Mm. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I only got an hour or so to decide. So, when I figure it out, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. So, Howdy guys. Check this out everybody, that's where it came from. It just spit us in this parking lot with this killer view, baby. Look at that. I think I got enough service here to try to get a video out. I'm gonna try one more time. It's already late in the day. I don't like to, yeah, mess around this late, especially when I'm a day behind almost. But look at this view, baby. Check this out, everybody. Little view spot. Sorry about the sun. Ho ho ho! Look at that. How awesome, everybody. Yeah. Super cool, baby. All right, now I'm gonna get motoring. I did get a video out. <sighs> Took forever. So, I don't know about the store or the sunset or any of that stuff now. We'll just play it by ear, baby. Not a big deal. I'm just glad I was able to get that video out for you guys, for sure. I don't like holding on to them. Right on trail, everybody. What's up, buddy? What you doing? Huh? Oh, you're pretty boy, girl, aren't you? What you doing? You want some lovin's? I'll give you some lovin'. You come here, I'll give you some lovin's. You're funny. Can I get closer to you? You're gonna let me get real close, aren't you? Oh, it's okay. I didn't mean to spook you. I right, have a good night. Check this out, everybody. We got a view spot. Yes, yes, we do. Booyah, baby. <laughs> and I'm bypassing the wayside in hopes that the campground store will be open when I get there. We will see. It's a race against time, baby. So, with that being said, uh, one more time, I guess. Because it's beautiful. What's happening, everybody? So I'm just sitting here thinking, I'm like a mile, mile and a half away from uh, the campground. So but I'm sitting here thinking, why can't I remember what the name of the hut or shelter is that I stayed at last night? It's kind of crazy, everybody. And I have a lot of those days where I'm like, man, somebody asked me, where'd you come from today? I'm like, Phew. I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, they all blend together after a while. But it just seems very strange 
I can't remember the name of the shelter I stayed at last night. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens when you stay out on the trail for too long. Oh, and today, everybody, while I'm rambling, uh, today is actually 200 days uh, that I've been hiking since February 26th, everybody. So, 200 days. 121 days on my northbound with the long trail and then 79 days today's day 79 so that equals to add them two together i'm no mathematician <laughs> but it equals 200 days pretty crazy been hiking for 200 days since february i did have seven weeks off when i went home so but still, 200 days. Oh, wow. And we're gonna try to get this sunset. I don't know though. Camp store might tie me up a little too long. It's either a camp store or sunset, everybody. And uh, <laughs> if you were in my shoes right now, you'd be saying, I'm going to camp store, get me one of the microwave hamburgers. So, we'll see if I can't pull it off getting both of them, though. A burger and the sunset. Time will tell, baby. What's happening, everybody? This here is the Loft Mountain Campground Store, which is, must be closed for the season. So... I tried, everybody. I was gunning for that burger and a soda, but no dice. So now I'm just going to get back to the AT here and get up to the campground up here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay at the campground. Not positive, though. We'll see when we get up there. I'll make my decision once I get there. So, bomber. No burgers for me. Maybe I should have went down to the wayside. But that would have been closed. That would have been like a mile. This was just like 0.2 maybe. Not even 0.2. So, hey guys, figured to let you know. I got shot down again. Remember when I, uh, remember when I went northbound? I stopped there too. Closed for the season. So, just must be, I don't hike in the right season. Hi right, guys, back on the AT, baby. What's happening, everybody? So, this trail is super cool. And you know, the burger was not meant to be, of course. But I'm thinking the sunset was. Look at this, everybody. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looky, looky. I may not have got a burger, but I got the sunset, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna try to get a campsite right around here too, so. Let me set up, I'll keep I'm going to be running this ridge for a minute, so I'll have views of this the whole time. Look at that. And you know what I'm thinking about doing is, I'll check it out. I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing. First off, with this view spot right here. Look, everybody. <clears throat> I don't know if it's legal, if I gotta pay. I don't know what's going on. I gotta figure it out. But look, campsite right here. <laughs> With a sunset. I mean, I think I'm just gonna camp here anyways. And if I get in trouble for it, I'll just pay them. I mean, 
I don't know what they want me to do. But I think I'm going to pick this site, actually. So I've got a killer view of the sunset, baby. All right, let me figure out what I'm going to do. i got to see if I can camp here legally or I just got to do it and get out of here in the morning. We'll see, everybody. Let me, let me figure it out. Look how beautiful that is, everybody. I don't know why I got that little orange dot. Now it's green. Now it's orange. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and set my tent up right here. And if anybody says anything, I'll just give them money. It's that simple. Yeah, baby. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty guys, end of the day recap. Hold on, let me get resituated here. Day 79, I left, it's dark out everybody. I left Bear Fence Mountain Hut. That's the name of the hut I stayed at. 1273.4. I'm now sitting at the trail to Loft Mountain Campground. It says go here if camping, so. I might be a slight past that, but not much, everybody. So that was 1301.1. Makes it a 27.7 mile day, everybody. And we crossed into 1300 miles, baby. So that's awesome. And uh, uh, like I say, oh, I'm like 20, almost 27 miles away from Waynesboro, Virginia, everybody. So. We'll see if I push in there tomorrow or if I stop short and then Nero the next day. I don't really know. I'm either going to Nero in or Nero out of there. So, yeah. I'll probably end up in Waynesboro tomorrow night. But if it's going to be, if it's rolling on getting dark by the time I get to the road, I'm not going to mess with it. I'll just camp out, bust in there in the morning. But we'll see, everybody. Uh, don't bet against me not going into Waynesboro, that's for sure. So that's what it is, everybody. Day 79, 27.7 miles, baby. Yep, it's another marathon. I hope you guys had a great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning.